Hi, my name is Kevin Johnson with One Blue Real Estate School, and welcome to another real estate math tutorial. I can almost all but guarantee you're gonna seek one of these on the state exam, as it's one of the most popular questions that they give you for math. Now, this is gonna be a little bit longer of our video than our normal ones, because we're gonna cover all three of the transfer taxes. We're gonna give an example for each one, let you practice each one individually, and then we're gonna take everything, pull it together, and give you the opportunity to practice one. All right, so first, before we dive into the details, let's talk about what a documentary stamp tax is, or commonly we call them just doc stamp. What we're doing is anytime property is transferred from the seller to the buyer, we have to record certain documents in the county records. The one that always gets recorded is the deed, for example, and we have to determine how much the tax is going to be based on the value of the document. So we take the value of the document, we divide it by 100, and that gives us how much the tax is. So let's take a deed that's for a property that was sold for $1,000. We simply take that $1,000, we're gonna divide it by 100, and that's gonna tell us we need 10 stamps. Now when recording a deed, each of the deeds for, uh, each of the doc stamps for the deed are 70 cents each. So our 10 stamps times 70 cents each, it gives us a total tax of $7. Now, we can only buy whole stamps. We can never buy partial stamps. So what happens if we have, it comes up with a partial stamp as a requirement? And here's what we look at. Take that same deed, now it's valued at $1,250. So if we divide that by 100, it's gonna tell us we need 12 and a half stamped. We cannot buy a half a stamp. We also can't you know, cheat the government out of that money so we actually have to buy a whole new stamp. So we're gonna need a total of 13 stamps. We multiply that by 0.7, that gives us a total tax of $9.10 for this deed to get recorded in the public records. Now, let's talk about the state transfer taxes as a whole. The first one is the documentary stamp tax on the deed. So that's the deed that transfers the property from the grantor to the grantee. We also have state documentary stamp taxes on promissory notes. So this is when you borrow money from the bank, you sign a promissory note to pay it back. Those have to get recorded. And then we also have the intangible tax. It's not a doc stamp, it's an intangible tax. And this is gonna be on the actual mortgage lien. Now, the first one, the deed, that's calculated based on the sale price of the property. That's how much the deed is worth. That's 70 cents per 100 or 70 cents per stamp. The promissory note, we're gonna calculate this on the loan amount of the promissory note. And this gets calculated on new and assumed notes. And then the last one is on the mortgage lien. This is only going to be on new liens being recorded and it's 0.002 per $1 or you just take the amount of the new mortgage and then you divide or multiply that by 0.002 and there's your answer. All right, so let's take a look at how these work. First up, we'll talk about calculating the documentary stamp tax on the deed. A home sells for $150,025. How much are the documentary stamp tax on the deed? So first we need to find out how many stamps do we need and then we'll determine the cost of those stamps. Our purchase price was $150,025. We divide that by 100. That tells me I need 1,500.25 stamps but I can't have a quarter of a stamp, so I'm gonna to need to round that up. I need to buy 1,501 stamps. Now I'm gonna carry that over. How much are the cost of my stamps? They're 70 cents a piece. So my total documentary stamp tax, just for the deed, is $1,050.70. All right, pretty easy, but let's give it a try. I want you to do one. So this next question, you're going to determine what the documentary stamp tax is for the deed. The home sold for $216,293. Go ahead and hit pause, calculate the documentary stamp tax just on the deed, hit play and we'll give you the answer. All right, what answer did you get? Let's solve for it. Again, first off, how many stamps and then how much they cost. That purchase price was $216,293. We're going to divide that by 100. Tells me I need 2,162.25 uh, 2 
0.93 stamps, but I can't buy 0.93 of a stamp. Have to round that up to 2,163 stamps. We'll carry that over and we're gonna multiply that by 0.7 and our total tax is $1,514.10. How did you do? Hopefully you got the answer. If not, we'll give you a place you can do some more practice at the end of this video. But for now, it's time to move on to documentary stamp taxes on the promissory note. A buyer purchases a property by assuming an existing loan of $62,350 and signing a new mortgage and note for $110,052. So we need to first figure out how, much the, how many doc stamps we need and then the total amount. But here's the thing, you need to make sure that you always, always, always calculate the two notes separately. Sometimes if you add them together and try to solve, the answer will be there, but not all the time, and it could trip you up on the state exam. So let's take the first one, and that one's going to be the assumed mortgage. So the one we're assuming, it was $62,350. We divide that by 100, we need 623.5 stamps. Round that up to 624, bring that over. We're gonna multiply it by 0.3. 35 because the stamp cost for notes is a little bit cheaper. So our total is $218.40 just for the assumed one. Next, let's look at the new one. The new one, the note was $110,052 divided by 100. We need 1,100.52 stamps or 1,101. Number of stamps, carry that over, times 0.35. The doc stamp tax is $385.35. Add those two together, the total documentary stamp tax to record both of these is $603.75. When it comes to the state exam, make sure you are reading the question, and then after you've read the question, read it again. Sometimes they may just ask for the new, Sometimes they may just ask for the assumed. Sometimes they ask for both. So you want to be very careful. All right, now it's your turn to practice. Here's your question. Buyer purchases a property by assuming an existing loan of $57,000 and signing a new mortgage and note for $163,523. $163, Go ahead and hit pause. I want you to solve for the assume, solve for the new, and then what is my total? When you have your answer, hit play and we'll go over it. All right, welcome back. Let's see what you got. First up, we'll do the assumed. That note was $57,000, dividing it by 100. We need 570 stamps times 0.35, $199.50. Switching over to the new. That new note was 163,523. We divide that by 100, it tells us we need 1,636 stamps. Multiply that by 0.35, that stamp tax is $572.60. Add them together, $772.10 is your answer. How did you do? Hopefully you got it right. All right, now here's the last one, the intangible tax. And it's the most difficult of all of them, so be Pay special attention, make sure you're focused because these, whew, these are the tough ones. A, purchase, a buyer purchases a property by assuming an existing loan of $62,350 and signing a new mortgage loan for $110,000. All right, you ready? Sharpen your pencil, here we go. This is gonna be a long, complicated, difficult formula. You take the $110,000, which is the new mortgage, multiply that by 0 0.002, then you hit equal, and you get $220. That's it, I, I was joking, it's not really hard, it's one of the easier ones, right? But don't overcomplicate it, because the first two steps are a little bit more difficult, a lot of students try to complicate this last step. Super simple, new mortgage note times 0 0.002, hit equals, and you're done. All right, you practice. Here's yours. Go ahead and hit pause, and when you have the answer, let me know. All right, did you get it? Let's see. Let's take a look. Did you get $300? Hopefully you did. 
All right. Now we're going to take this and we're going to put it all together. So here's one question and we're testing a couple different things. We're testing some loan to value, some closing costs, a little bit of everything in this one. Susie and Mike recently bought a new home. They paid $4,500 in closing costs and put down $50,000 in cash. They obtained a new FHA loan for $150,000 and assumed a seller's VA loan of $50,000. What are the total transfer taxes associated with this transaction? Now I'm looking for everything. You need to first figure out what your purchase price, how much are your new loans and your assumed loans. Hit pause and then when you have these three pieces answered, go ahead and play to verify you have it right. Then we'll pause again and you can solve for the taxes. All right. What did you get for the purchase price, new loans and assumed loans? So the purchase price is going to be all of the financing, so the FHA and the VA, plus the cash they put down. So it's $250,000. The $4,500 in closing costs, not relevant for this question. The new loan was $150,000 and the assumed was $50,000. Knowing that, you should be able to solve for your transfer taxes. So go ahead and hit pause, and when you have all your transfer taxes done, Hit play and we'll go over all of it together. Welcome back. How did you do? Let's take a look. So I brought everything over. We have our purchase price, our new loan and our assume loan. Now in the purchase price, we need to figure out that's the deed. We have to record our deed. So we're gonna figure out the doc stamps on the deed. So 250,000 divided by 100 is 2,500 stamps. So 1750 is our doc stamp on the deed. Now on the new loan, we have to figure out the doc stamp. So doc stamp on that one, 150,000. We're gonna take that divided by 100. That's going to give us 1,500 stamps. Multiply that by 0.35, we get $525 doc stamp just for the new note. On the assumed one, we do the same thing. We get $175 doc stamp. Now we have one more thing to do, and that is the intangible tax. That's only on the new mortgage. So we're gonna figure that out. It's 150,000 times 0 0.002. That gives us a $300 intangible tax. And then when we add all that together, <clears throat> excuse me, our total transfer taxes for this sale, $2,750. I hope you found this beneficial. I hope this helped kind of clear up any confusion you may have. Of course, you can always visit our website at onebluerealestateschool.com. There we do have a two-day state exam boot camp we run every single month. We also have our on-demand exam prep course that you can take and um, $49 a month, tons of practice questions, everything you need. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to make it a great day.